Hello and God bless everybody in our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a short video I'm going to ask Mark Hardy to link on his website uh, because we're talking about how we're going to dismantle the campground area of the property. I had good intentions and I think it was it was our thoughts and not God's thoughts. The Lord led us here to what we originally had. We each have a little tiny cabin. There's another cabin with eight bunks and we improved everything and got everything ready as the Lord had told us to. Then we started thinking, well, look, we've got all that land. Let's make it available for others who know the times. Um, but I think what was meant to be ready was what was here already. So I wanted to say this, you know, we put thousands of dollars into uh, building it out. And the first camper who came here, they put some thousands in to develop their area and add to the infrastructure. So they've decided to leave and, and they were they were only here really a handful of times over the past year or more um, and unfortunately a lot of that was working on getting it all ready and then we'd added the second camper which was more headaches so i wanted to say this anyone who contributed money and you know who you are and we have the paypal list of who gave money if you would like it back please feel free to contact us we so appreciated that you were helping you know and we put it in and you put some in and Thank you, thank you. And now everything has happened so fast in the past year and in the couple of years, uh, three years now that I've been here, I'm so grateful and thankful and I praise the Lord because he told us to be ready and now it's upon us and that's just the blink of an eye. Okay, but I wanted to say that we thank you. We thank you for the prayers and I guess we should never try to get ahead of God. Sarah and Abraham taught me that and I should have remembered that, you know. So it's been wild, but some good things came out of it. Some uh, very good experiences, some learning. I learned a lot about myself and interacting with others. I'm very private and I have areas in myself I need to work on, you know? And so, um, and then there's the spiritual aspects of where people are each at in their walk with the Lord and understanding of scripture and faith in Christ and the times that we're in and what we're being called to do. Anyway, I leave all that in the Lord's hands, but I wanted to say that thank you. Be in touch if you'd like to uh, ask for some money back. We're not going to make a profit on selling um, the camper if I sell it and undoing the carports. Thank God he's made a way out. Um, if there's any profit, wonderful. That'll help pay people back. But either way, uh, I want to offer that because I do appreciate it all. God bless everybody. The King is coming. Praise our Lord Jesus Christ. Be strong, be steadfast. What can you say but praise God, he's opened our eyes to understand and we know it's gonna get rougher, meaner, nastier and all glory and honor to the King. And why should we not have to face these things given what Christ did for us? But many will be hidden and sheltered and shielded and not in it because he walked in faith. And if others have to face it, you know, God strengthens us in all things to his glory. He is the Almighty, and he purifies and tries and makes white so that we're fit to enter his eternal kingdom. And that's why Daniel said, you know, those who do know their God will do exploits, but many will fall to be purified. You know, they'll be helped, but they'll fall. Many will fall, but it's just the flesh. And it's because there's certain things we each need to go through that he knows. So um, there's no fear, I'm so thrilled. And soon we will be, be with the Lord eternally and that's the focus. Okay, God bless everybody. Stay in the word of God. He is our rock, his word is our, our sword. The only sword we need is the spirit of God and the word of God and all but the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, the preparation of the gospel of peace that our feet are shod with and the helmet of salvation. So put it all on, don't take it off and be strong. God bless you in Jesus' name. All right, good afternoon, everybody. It is 108-618, June the 18th. I want to share a quick video, you guys. Uh, 
a lot of the uh, trouble that's been happening here, I guess you could say. I didn't come out and say it, but now I am because I was asked to. Uh, the campground that we were trying to set up for other people, it's been probably one of the biggest problems that uh, ever happened here. And that's what we're doing now is we're dismantling this campground because uh, it's not worked out. Um, it's just been one problem after another. And uh, a lot of people have been upset and made to be uncomfortable because of it. And that includes Cynthia not being pleasant, happy with it. And... Uh, Anyhow, she asked me to make this video, and that's what I'm doing. So everybody out there, you guys, you know, we shut down that campground area because it's not worked out. It's been nothing but uh, headache, you know, and most people, they're not ready. They're not going to be ready, and things are going to, uh, all things are going to take their place just like they should. And the way it looks with this campground, it never was supposed to be. Because if it would have been, it would have not been the problems that it's been. So, therefore, we're taking it down and dismantling it. And uh, just going to sit and watch day by day from here out, you guys. And uh, try to keep our peace and stay at peace. As I said before, you guys, keep your peace. And uh, be careful not to get caught up in uh, things of this world. You know, if you find yourself in that situation, you need to change it. And that's what we're doing here. We're getting rid of this campground uh, idea. It's not going to work out. And if anything's meant to happen later down the road, it will. But other than that, we're shutting it down. God bless everybody in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. She asked me to make this video, and that's what I'm doing. Anyone who contributed money, and you know who you are, and we have the PayPal list of who gave money. Anyone who contributed money, and you know who you are, and we have the PayPal list of who gave money. Anyone who contributed money, and you know who you are, and we have the PayPal list of who gave money. Hi, Steve from WebStarts here. In this video, I'm going to go over how to refund a transaction in your PayPal account. Anytime a sale made within your store needs to be refunded, and PayPal was the processor for that sale, you'll need to refund the associated transaction within your PayPal account. Let's go over that now. Now I'm already logged into my PayPal account, so I'm ready to go. If you haven't done so yet, just go to paypal.com and log into your account. Once you're logged in, click the Activity tab located at the top of the page. Here you'll find all the recent transactions made within your PayPal account. Locate the transaction you wish to refund, there it is. Go ahead and click on that, and then decide how much of the total transaction you'd like to refund, and then click Continue. It should refund the full amount by default, but you can refund only a partial amount should you choose. From here, review the details of the refund, and then click the Issue Refund button to complete. And you should get a refund complete note, and that's all there is to it. Any funds related to the charge will then be sent back to your customer and you should be set. If you have any other questions about refunding a transaction or with web starts in general, be sure to reach out to our support team and we'd be happy to help out. Anyone who
contributed money and you know who you are and we have the PayPal list of who gave money.